Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at the Olight O-Pen 2. Now I have it here in the black version and then also in the copper version as well. So this is a combination pen and flashlight as well. Your activation switch is on the top. Very compact. The, uh, the clip is really nice as you can see there. It's, uh, it's snug. You could actually run this like on a pack. You could run it through molly webbing if you wanted to, and then certainly if you want to put it in a pocket, whether on your shirt or you know in your front jeans pocket, something like that, you can do that as well. It is a bolt action pen. So you can see there's your little activation switch. You're gonna basically press it down and then over, and your, uh, your pen's gonna come out for writing. Uh, this one is, like I said, it's notably light. The copper one has definitely got some more heft to it, so you're gonna feel this a little bit more as far as the weight of it when you're writing. Um, the thing I love about this is it's multi-use, you know, like a good multi-tool can just be such a uh, such a help in the woods and just day-to-day -day life. And the same thing when you got a pen that's like you can write with it, you can use it as a flashlight. As far as your lumen outputs, you're looking at 5, 20, 60, and then 120. So obviously 5 is really good to that firefly level just to be able to kind of walk around, you know, the house at night or somewhere where you don't want a lot of light to bother somebody or wake somebody up. And then up to 120, and as you'll see in the footage, 120, you know, especially inside where the walls are relatively close, um, you can see quite a bit. It's, it's pretty impressive for a tiny little light like that. A cool thing about the flashlight feature is that you untwist this, and then inside you'll see there's your USB to recharge it, but the battery is built in here, so now I can turn this light on, and if I want to set it up, you know, I want to put it on a jacket, I want to use it around, you know, the house or something like that, maybe in the office, I can just take it off of the pen, and this is this unit is totally separate. So I can still use the pen if I want to. I don't know if you can see down inside there. Yeah, you can see it. There's like it ends there, right? So it doesn't sound like the um, the ink cartridge is going to come out. So yeah, I mean I think the concept is cool. Uh, you're you're not going to get the same amount of output and functionality as you know, like say one of their baton twos, which I really like. Um, you know, when the bezel is that wide, obviously the output of light is going to be different than when you've got that, basically where your light is coming out. Now, um, they have made some changes from the original ones that came out to the latest versions. Uh, one thing that's really cool now, when I press the button on top, you're going to see it's actually going to flash red. I need to hold it down and then it's going to come on. Now I can cycle through the different settings, as you can see. That's a lockout feature and that's built into the pens now. Um, that's great because you know if you throw this in a bag and it gets bumped and then boom all of a sudden it's you know it's used all the uh, the power that's going to be a problem obviously the copper one works in the same way basically press the uh, press the action down it locks in when you want to take the pen or put the pen, pen away slide it over and it's going to slide up like that now it is 0.5 inches across the LED is a 3737 LED. Um, what I want to do now is roll in the footage so you can actually see what it looks like in use. I'm just walking around my house basically. This is not the type of light that you're like, well, I'm not going to bring a flashlight camping. Obviously, you need something with more oomph if you're going out into the woods for a while. But, you know, to get from the car into the house, I always talk about, you know, if you drop something under a car seat or maybe behind your desk at work, now you've got a light where you can actually look for, look for items um, if you don't have your pocket light on you. And then, you know, it just around the house, let's say at night, I want to get up and do something, but I don't want to shine a big flashlight. And I've just got this kicking around. Well, now I can use it. Um, they do have uh, ink cartridge refills on the Olight website. Um, I will tell you that both of these, as far as the functionality of the pen, has, they work really well. Again, the copper one has definitely got a lot more heft, so you're going to feel that when you're writing with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes you get something that's really cool. It's like a pen and a flashlight as well, but the pen stinks or the flashlight stinks. I think both of the, uh, the items actually function quite well. So let me roll in some footage here of me using the, um, the O-Pen 2, and then I want to talk to you about another use for this O-Pen 2. Okay, I'm inside my house and I'm uh, just going to wander around a little bit here. Let me show you the four different settings. I'm actually going to be looking at a uh, cake my daughter just made. So here in the kitchen, 5, 20, 60, and 120 as far as her lumen outputs. So I'll take a look around at 120 here. Check out Godzilla. All right, let's go back down to five here. So there's five, 20. 
There's 60 and 120. Drop back down to 60. Wander around a little bit. I mean, so as you can see, with 60 lumens, you can see just fine here. Let's go down to 20, actually. So here's 20. I mean, still, I could definitely wander around the house, no problem here. I'm in my backyard now and I'm about six feet away from the back door. Here's the O-Pen 2 locked out. What I'll show you is levels two, three, and four of output shining it at the back door. And then I'll take, you know, a couple steps back and then try it again. I'm not gonna show you that lowest level just because it is such a small amount of output that it, uh, you don't see a whole lot unless you can, uh, you know, hold my hand up close to the camera and shine it. So we'll show you levels two, three, and four. All right, so here's level two, level three, and level four, and once again, I'm about six feet away from my back door. Okay, I'm back at about 15 feet now. Here's level two, three, and four. Getting some work done, as you can see here. All right, back at about 25 feet now. Here's level two, level three, and now level four. Get back at about 35 feet now. Here's level two. Level three. And then the highest output. So I mean at 35 feet, you can absolutely see the back door in this area. You know, with a human eye, I can see it better than on camera, but absolutely plenty of light to, uh, to see the, the side of the house, the back of the house at the uh, highest level with the open too. All right, so we've seen what it looks like in use at night. I think the other thing you could use this for is just self-defense, right? Uh, one of the big things for me is that I don't want to have a huge kind of weird button on the end if I need to use this for self-defense. Now, um, obviously the copper, because it's got more heft, is going to give you the opportunity. It's just it's stronger overall. I don't think the, the black version is weak necessarily, um, but the copper version just got some more heft to it. Um, one big thing for me with like tactical pens is in general, I don't want any kind of button on the top. However, this button is so, it's almost flush there. It's just, you know, sticks up a tiny bit that I could hold on to that if I really had to. You know, I always think about like in the sternum, if somebody was, say somebody, I was out with my wife at the movies, somebody was drunk and getting aggressive with us, just like a pop like that in somebody's sternum really lets them know you mean business. Obviously that's the first move if you really have to get aggressive, you're talking about another level of interaction. But just to let somebody know, hey, I need some space on what you're doing. Um, holding it like this and then boom. Um, and obviously you could use the pen in any kind of area if you're trying to get another person away from you in self-defense. But I always think about that stern, I'm a little bit lower here. The point being, it is a flashlight, it's a pen, and then also it's nice to have something that you could kind of use as a small tool to keep somebody away from you if they start to get a little bit too much into your personal space. All right, so for the O-Pen in black, you're looking at about 50 bucks. You're looking at closer to probably 65 for the, uh, the copper version. Um, my guess is that they're gonna come up with other versions uh, made of different materials, different colors like that in the future as well. These are relatively new, but I wanted to uh, show them to you, show you what they look like in use, and tell you that um, I've been running one of these um, just like as a pen that I use, the copper one, um, just around the office, and it's really cool. It's nice to have a, a little pen light and also a nice pen at the same time. So let's hear your thoughts on these and then also pen lights in general. Do you like them, not like them? Let's hear some thoughts from you guys on that. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.